Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. My lovely friends got me vegan donuts. This one, look, that one looks really good. I love a vanilla donut. And V, we got all the animals. Where's my water bottle? What does this say, baby? Ooh! Good job! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, friends, today is a quiet day over here. I'm still getting the vlog up. What time is it? It's 1 14. So I haven't been editing in the morning because I've been wanting to just like enjoy the time together and whatnot. And then Christina's friend came over today with her baby, AJ, um, who I hadn't met yet. So that was really great. So the vlog just kept on getting pushed back and pushed back. Some avocado toast and an Oreo for lunch. Get this up and just hang out. I think Peter's gonna stay home today too. Baby, what do you got? We're having a chill day, just watching arsenic and old lace. Vivi did just ask for a blue though, so maybe we're gonna watch Aladdin. Hey guys, I'm at the UPS customer center, but it's like literally at the distribution plant next to an airport. This is like industrial era over here. So I hope this is where I'm supposed to pick it up. That's what this postcard says. So apparently we had a package sent to our P.O. box, but it was being sent via UPS, and UPS does not send to P.O. boxes. So I had to come pick it up. Not a big deal, but it's just like, I felt like I was in like the train yards of the suburban areas of Chicago that I grew up driving past during certain tra traffic periods. It was easier to go that way. And like you just see all of the distribution plants near the airports. So it was bringing me back home. All right. We got it. Don't know what it is yet, but let's figure it out. All right, quick update. The package was actually a double send, so we already received the package. And then it started raining and like pouring, and I had to take a different way because my phone gave me wrong directions. But this is kind of cool because this is, here is one of the big medical centers. And right over there, that cool building right there is the Winnie Palmer Women and Children's Hospital, which is where we are hoping that we will use that hospital when the time comes. Super cool, look it out. Arnold Palmer Hospital's over there and the Winnie Palmer Hospital is right there. Fancy, fancy. All right, get ready for a home vlog because this girl's been so good while Sarah's been gone. She deserves all the love and play time. So I'm gonna stay home with her. We might go out to Park Avenue. We might, I might go on a run, but it's raining right now and it looks like it might rain all night, so I have to look at that. But hanging out with my pup, got Iron Cowboy on Netflix right now, which is about a guy who ran 50 Iron Man in 50 days or 30 Iron Man. I'll look it up, I'll let you know what I'm at, but it's pretty intense. I think this vlog has taken an unintentional turn into a Peter Burkhart endurance running fundraising update, but I'm a little preoccupied right now, hanging out with my puppy, giving her some proper lovings because she was alone all day. This guy, 50 Iron Man, 50 days. Crazy. Baby, okay. look. This is this is our tent. Make a silly silly face. <laughs> that was a good one. Baby, make this face. Baby. <laughs> good boy. Oh, this one. So, we have eaten dinner, we have played, we have rested, had snacks, finished the Iron Cowboy documentary, then got down the rabbit hole of watching New Girl, per huge. We also got down the rabbit hole of a cool fundraising idea that my friends at ACS back in Chicago emailed us about just giving a suggestion like, hey, one of our friends, Heather, did this in Chicago for the Chicago Marathon, and it was super successful, and it was basically asking people to sponsor your miles. And I have a huge run, the biggest run of the year so far outside of Dopey. I actually have a training run that is a full marathon. So Sunday I'm supposed to run 26.2 miles. So I said, Sarah, what if we tried that Instagram thing 
where we ask people to donate directly through ACS, our link, or sending us a PayPal donation at the fab5207 at gmail.com and to pick a mile and like a, a donate that amount. And then what Sarah was doing is like marking those off with cool emojis and tagging people on it and the story. But it's been incredible. We posted it at like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. maybe, and we're already at like $370. Um, almost all the slots are sponsored. And what I'm going to do is on Sunday when I do my marathon training run, which is not going to be with a specific race or anything, it's just going to be me running the streets of Orlando, I'm going to try to stop every mile and take a photo of something or a selfie, and we're going to post those on social media like our Instagram, our Facebook, and um, kind of like as like a thank you. It's going to keep me motivated, extra motivated to get out there and just keep doing my running, but especially at this marathon training run because it's the longest, It's I think it's the longest run I'll do between now and the 50K, which another point today, today is exactly two months until my 50K, 25 days until Wine and Dine, and 100 days until Castaway Key 5K during after all of that. But what I got to do is try out my new running shoes that my buddy Steve gave me. He buys running shoes. But the thing about running shoes are, depending on what kind of make and model, like these are foam, mostly foam bottom. I think they're called foam bottom. They're called the Nike React foam. They fit differently than standard shoes. So like Steve thought he was an 11, a 10 and a half, 11 in, in his shoe size. But then he realizes during certain styles, his feet are too big. Well, I'm a smaller 10 and a half. I'm closer to the 10 and a half, 11, but closer to 10 and a half. So... He actually just gave me these when I saw them yesterday, and I'm gonna give these a try. But I wanna show you my shoes because we're actually gonna be going to a running store on Friday to get fitted for a new set of shoes, I believe, and then get a new set of shoes because it's about to be race season and I'm freaking out with excitement. Here are now my three sets of shoes. And it's super important if you're running as many miles as, as I do to have different kinds because these foam, you can see they're kind of crunched that needs time to repair. So you need about 24 to 48 hours to let your shoe actually settle back in. But if you remember, these are my Asics Keanu 25s. These need to be retired. As of two day, three days ago, I put my 490th mile on these. These only have, the, on, a, on, a bad, on a bad range, they'll get you 300 miles, depending on how you run. On a good range, they'll give you 600. So regardless, I'm at the limit and I can feel it in how I run in the foam. Um, over here are the first sets of shoes that Steve gave me. These are actually really nice ones. They're the Nike Zoom Fly SP Special Projects. They made these in conjunction with the breaking two hour marathon uh, two years ago and they just missed it. But if you ever get an hour long documentary you want to see on some really interesting scientific running, maybe we'll put a little clip in here. So that's what these are based off of. But these only last about three to 400 miles and Steve put about 60 miles on them and I put about maybe another 30 on them. So I still got quite some life in these. And then these Steve only put 29 miles on. And these will last about 400 miles if depending on how I run, maybe 300. So you can already see that wear from the foam, but that there's a lot of foam, so it'll last. It all depends on how you run. But these are definitely lighter ones. These are trainers, they're heavy duty, they're stockier, they're, you know, they're not as light. They're my everyday trainer, so I'm gonna get, I might even just get another, a new pair of these Keanu 25s because I love them in size 11. Um, but I'm gonna get fitted at Track Shack on Friday when I pick up my bib, and we'll see what they say, if they even sell those or if they think I should do something else after I get professionally fitted. But I'm about to take these Nike Epic React Fly Knit shoes out, make sure they fit right and see how they do, because they're, they're significantly lighter, both of these are easily 50% lighter than these. These are honkers. So when I get my feet in here and get out there on the streets, I should, I should, it, sh it should be less wear and tear my body to go a little faster. But I got a podcast recorded and I'm ready, but these are gonna be retired and hopefully this weekend we'll be getting a new set of heavy duty trainers that I can put another 500 miles on because these have taken care, these have taken care of me a lot this past year. But because of my high mileage that I've been doing I'll put 40 to 50 miles on shoes a week. So imagine if these have 200 miles on them, I could only, could only use these for five weeks before they were done. So got to take care of my feet. Alrighty, it has been such a relaxed trip this time around. Um, really haven't, well, didn't leave the house today. Um, but it's just been good. 
it's just been kind of relaxed, but um, it's my last night here. Um, just as ready as Peter is for us three to be back together. Um, but it's been really nice to have like a relaxing trip here because that truly never happens. It is good to be home. Peter and Evie, I am coming for you. She's so ready for bed. All right, it's 11.30. It's been a few hours since I picked up the camera, I think. Um, went on a six mile run. It was really humid, like very humid. Like I was more soaking sweat than of the past couple runs, but the shoes were amazing. And I talked to Sarah on the phone. We did the dishes. We cleaned up the apartment. Not that it got crazy or anything, but it's just, I want it to be nice and fresh. You ready for bed? Thank you. Um, got the apartment all set for Sarah's return. Talked to Sarah. I didn't realize she wasn't landing until like 10.30 p.m. So I gotta figure out if I'm gonna go out after work, straight from work and then come home, see Eve, and then go out and get Sarah, or if I'm gonna come home, hang out at home, then go out and get her. I'm kind of leaning towards going straight out from work. Don't know what I would do. I know some friends are gonna be at Epcot, but I don't think they're gonna be there till later. Um, and then I could come home, get Eve maybe, and then go get Sarah. So I don't know, I gotta figure that out, but so glad Sarah's returning. Been a bit on the struggle bus without her, but we, were, we made it. Um, but I am so ready for her to come back home. I miss her greatly. I know Eve misses her. She's been yearning towards the door a lot these past few days. But I know she had a good good trip out there and a good visit with everybody and a good wedding shower. So I'm glad she went, but I am glad that she'll be returning home. Anyway, let's go to the daily message. I'm filling up the filtered water. Did just flip the laundry. And then we're gonna call it a day. All right, today is the seventh. It is the first time in I don't know how long that I'm about to do the sign off and go to bed before midnight. But today is by Henry Ward Beecher. A person without a sense of humor is like a wagon without springs. It's jolted by every pebble on the road. Ooh, I like that. It's a little dark, a little too serious, but a little jokey all at the same time. I dig it. Serious shout out to everybody who shared our ACS fundraiser, who sponsored one of my miles this weekend for my training marathon. I cannot believe it. We raised about $420 today alone. So you guys are incredible. We're basically just $1,000 away from our overall Dopey 2020 challenge, which means we're only $1,000 away from raising a 10,000 in total fundraisers for the past about year and seven months. And that is literally incredible, mind blowing. Sarah and I are so humbled by that. It means the organization means a lot to us. And the reasoning why we started doing all this means the world to us. So the fact that everyone, all the support, friends, family, loved ones, all, each and every one of you have supported Sarah's and mine's journey through our infertility, through my training, through our eating better, um, through the American Cancer Society as well, and getting those crucial funds in there is, means a lot to us. So thank you very much. You guys are awesome. And you're gonna see some very sweaty pictures because I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a photo of myself every mile during my 26.2 miles on Sunday. But anyway, I feel like it's Christmas Eve. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because I'm gonna be excited for Sarah tomorrow, but I'm gonna try my best after the long weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.